Talk. Talk. G'day guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to take out the RAM and the hard drive that's built into a MacBook Pro and replace it uh, with an SSD and upgrade the RAM while we're at it. So for this we're going to need, uh, first of all the RAM obviously, 8 gig of RAM here, this is from RAM City. Um, I've got this little easy upgrade universal kit which is just any old crappy enclosure will do but this is a hard drive enclosure uh, that you can get from Ram Random City as well. Um, most importantly I've got the Coopers Clear, now long time Mac Talk fans would know that we normally go for the Coopers Red but these days we're all just trying to watch our weight so we're going for the Coopers Clear. And most importantly though of course is the SSD drive, this one is a Ram City Propero 240 uh, gig SSD drive, so that should do me fine, that should be more than big enough. But before we really get into the how of how we're going to do this, I wanted to talk a little bit about the why. And look, this is my MacBook Pro at the moment, like I said it was the 1099 uh, refurb model. Um, there's not a lot going on here at the moment, I normally just have, you know, Sparrow, as you can see here, Sparrow, Etsy, Chrome, iTunes, iCal, not really, really trying to stress the machine out all that much. There is a whole bunch of stuff, if you look really closely at the menu bar, you can see a whole bunch of things like Dropbox uh, and Quick Cal and a few other things running as well. Um, but when I boot up into Lion, especially Lion, now that it's got this new resume feature. Uh, I would get this kind of computer that would just show me a whole bunch of windows that I couldn't actually use because the, the windows launched but they weren't clickable and usable. And uh, I didn't really do anything, I just sped up the footage here, but basically it took about 3 minutes and 5 seconds for me to go from um, a switched off machine to a machine that actually had clickable windows that I could touch. Or to be a little bit more uh, scientific here, using this Black Blackmagic speed test app, um, I'm getting about 45 megabytes per second as my write speed and about 45 megabytes per second for my read speed as well. So um, pretty much uh, okay for general uh, emailing and stuff, but not really that great for video. So the first thing we need to do is actually clone the hard drive that we have at the moment onto our SSD. So we're going to use this enclosure, we're going to use a little program called SuperDuper and it's as simple as kind of opening up SuperDuper and setting our boot drive as the, uh, the drive that we're kind of cloning and using the SSD as the drive that you're targeting. Now you don't want to mix those up, make sure you get those correctly uh, because you, you, you're going to erase the whatever that is the target drive. But it's pretty simple, just pop in your admin password and bang um, your drive will start to clone. Now this took me about four hours for about uh, I don't know 150 gig worth of info um, but I, longer than I expected but I just kind of left it and came back uh, a few hours later. Uh, look here is the MacBook Pro now. Um, the drive has been uh, cloned so now I have to get that drive out. So the first thing to notice is uh, we're going to take out all these tiny little screws at the bottom here and these these three screws at the top are slightly bigger, so we start with those ones. So here's our tiny screwdrivers for the tiny little screws. And just make sure you keep a plate or something to collect all those screws, you really don't want to lose them. And there they are, isn't that a pretty shot? Yeah, tiny little screws, there we go. Okay, so we've gotten the, uh, the, the back panel off. Um, first thing we're gonna take out is the RAM. And look, I've replaced RAM in a whole bunch of machines um, over the last couple of years, uh, a lot of Macs. And getting the RAM out of this MacBook Pro was the most annoying uh, exercise in, in RAM removal I've ever had. So they really do stuff it right in there. They're tiny little slots. Um, so yeah, and, and basically you, you have to know that you feel you will feel like you're gonna snap something while you do this. But um, you know, the, the golden rule is don't put too much pressure on. Hopefully it will just kind of pop out like that. Uh, that was, you know, that, that took a little while to, to kind of nudge it out. Um, but yeah, look, the, the golden rule is don't ever force anything. Just be as gentle as possible. Take as long as you need to. Uh, it, it took me about half an hour, bearing in mind that I did have a giant camera kind of sticking between me and, and the RAM slots. So here is the brand new RAM from Ram City. I'm going to stick that bad boy in. And uh, this is actually an 8 gig kit, so it's two sticks of 4 gig each. Um, and in the time it took to record this and post it up online, you can now get 16 gig kit kits. So this is one of the reasons why you do go for a MacBook Pro over an Air, because the RAM on the Air is actually soldered to the logic board. So there's no upgrading once you've actually bought the Air. Anyway, uh, so here is the drive that we have to take out. We're taking out the spinny disk drive that's in here at the moment. So the, there's this weird little kind of drive holdy thing. That's it there. Um, the drive holder any thing. You got to take that out first, and then it's just a matter of popping off the little SATA clips. Like I said, just be as gentle as possible. Uh, you don't want to break anything. 
And once you've got that out, the only other thing you need to do is from these uh, these little hard drive here, there's four little screws, these little little rivet kind of things here. Uh, and this is where you need your Torx screwdriver set, which you'll probably have to go out and buy. Uh, but yeah, um, just take off these little screws from the spinny drive. There's four of them in total. They, they're kind of like um, guiding screws. And just pop them into your SSD. And then we can stick them back in. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful action shot here. And just pop it, pop it back in, and you should see there'll be a close up in a second here. But you'll see these little groovy bits that you, yeah, there, there it is. That's where you're actually trying to get those little rivets into. And then there's the little holdy downy thing that you have to put back in. So there it is. And yeah, the, there's little orange rivet holders to go over those little rivets that you've just popped in there. So, so once they're back in. Then it's just a matter of screwing it back on. Now this whole process should take you about an hour or so if you're being super gentle and freaking out like I was. Uh, you could do it in about half an hour. Okay, so when we first boot up again, we're just gonna make sure that everything is fine, that the MacBook is actually spotting that RAM, and yeah, it can see the RAM there in uh, System Profiler. What about the SSD? Yep, it spotted the SSD. Um, and so now, here's the main test, let's reboot. So remember last time it took about three minutes for, for a standing start to actually kick off and be ready and a usable Mac. And this time, at about 45 seconds, the coolest thing is, like once Lion, the desktop appears, everything is immediately kind of usable. So, so it takes about 45 seconds down from about three minutes um, for that first initial boot. Um, and yeah, it really is kind of amazing how much faster everything is. So going back to the Blackmagic speed test app for a second. And this time we're getting about 270 megabytes per second as our write speed and our read speed is just off the charts. You can see there's green ticks all the way down. So all up, like I said, this, this is coming in, the entire thing cost about $1,700. So coming in at about a hundred bucks less than if you bought the top level uh, MacBook Air. And for that, you end up with a much more configurable machine. So definitely worthwhile, definitely worthwhile checking out. And look, seriously, if I could do it, you can do it. So, but anyway, my name is Pete. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, thank you to Ram City for supplying the RAM and the SSD uh, for me to play around with. And thank you, MacTalk, for providing the video. All right. We'll speak to you guys soon. See ya.